Morning all! Hi, my name's Rachel Andrews. Welcome to Everyday Athlete. On this week's video, I'm working in Bangor, Northern Ireland. So I've taken the opportunity just before I fly back to uh, go and meet up with a local swim group down at Brompton and uh, get in for a swim. Now, I'm really interested in that because the, roast, the coastline looks really quite craggy. So I'm interested to see how you get in at Brompton and whether it's whether I need some climbing skills to get back out because you know my number one rule is I won't get in unless I know how I'm going to get out anyway got a little walk down there so I'll take you with this I've just taken a little bit of a detour to look at the Coast Guard and uh, Marina office at Bangor because there's this lovely mural here with uh, a mermaid hanging off a boy and I couldn't resist coming for a closer look I've taken a slight detour off the direct route to Brompton because I wanted to have a look in over the side into the water at the marina because I was really surprised the other day when I was working there how many starfish there were and that they were absolutely huge i've never seen such big fat starfish so i'm going to see if i can show you a couple if not i'll insert a picture i took a bit too windy to see in at the minute let's try on the other side well, this is pretty cool. Somebody told me about this on the water the other day, that there is a sea bin operating the marina, sucking all of the rubbish out of the water. I wonder if we can spot it on our way round. I've got my beady eyes out and I'm trying to spot this sea bin, which I'm hoping is somewhere along the sides because if it's in the middle of all those boats, no chance of spotting it. Well, the water's pretty clear, but there are no sign of starfish at this side. They were on the far side next to the marina office when I spotted them. Maybe because this bit dries out, that might be why they're not here. Also, no sign yet of the sea bin. Hmm, let's keep looking. Ta-da! There's at least a sign pointing towards it. Let's go see if we can spot it. So I think this is what we're looking for, and I think I just spotted it. Is that it? Let's see if we can go through here and see if anybody knows anything about it. If there's someone on that boat, I'm going to ask them. Oh. No such luck. Well then, I think I'm going to have to assume that that is the sea bin. I wanted to know a bit more about it, but... It is quite stark, there is not much rubbish in the marina. There's the odd bit, but a lot less than in other marinas I've spotted, so maybe it's doing a really good job. Spot some steps, up to wall that's blocking the view. Gotta give it a go. I 
Can you see what I mean about the craggy coastline? I'm wondering how I'm going to get in without a barnacle scrape or out without multiple. Ah. Looks like I've happened upon a swim spot just here. Well, that's a team I didn't know about. Good to see people out in the water. This should have been a bit closer than Brompton. But I'm tempted in because it's on uh, on a list I saw of top places to go for a swim. Not that I usually take too much notice of that, but um, when you don't know, why not find out? It's even got a nice little accessible ramp here that you can get in pretty easily. And I can see a little handrail along the rocks. It's really quite set up for swimming here. So Skipping Stone Beach looks to be the closest one to where I was staying and uh, just across from the entrance to Bangor Marina. It seems to be quite a nice little sheltered cove, I guess, unless you get a northeasterly, in which case it would probably be howling. Super to see that there's some infrastructure there for people to get in and uh, a nice place for people to change. How good is that? So there's a number of these, 30 miles, 60 miles, there's one at 50, 43. These ones are all in Scotland. On a clearer day, you could probably see it. I can't believe how nicely paved this, um, this pathway is. It's almost weatherproof. Well, aside from if it was really howling and you're getting splashed by the sea, but we're at high water at the minute, so it uh, doesn't come up that high, maybe. Um, but it's so user-friendly. And everyone seems so friendly along here as well. A lot of hellos and um, smiles and stuff. Good to be out on a Sunday morning. Oh, I think I've spotted where I'm heading. Some steps and some people gathering. What do you know? Just above me, there's a castle looking down. Banker Castle, maybe? Now to find my way out to where they are. Ta da! Found it. Well, it's quite the gathering. Do you know it? There's a little path along even. So nice and easy on your feet. Ladders, so, so that's good to see. So when the tide, you can get in here at any time, regardless of the tide. So it makes it very, very accessible. Yeah. Woo! Oh, that's you. I'm weird. Yep. Okay, and then that's you off the edge now. Like high tide. Oh, 
all my what? life. Yeah? yeah, here. We just seriously. Oh, nice. We just live up the road, and uh, I learned to swim here when I was four. Wow. And then what just, a round, view. just round the corner was our outdoor swimming pool. Is that swimming, yeah. oh, I went past that. It's got a load of um, yeah. swans in it now. <laughs> yeah. Plastic swans. So yes, and then part of the swimming club. So we only ever had outdoor swimming. Ah, okay. And it just stuck with me. Oh, it's just been one of those activities that I've always done, <sighs> managed to do. So, yes, we would swim up and down the coast here and across the lock. Yeah, across the lock? Yeah. <laughs> so... You'd want a, uh, a kayak to take you to that, Oh, we have guys with boats and kayakers, <laughs> Rousers. yes. All very... Yes. How far is it across the lock? Just under 10k, just across. Oosh. I've done the 10k, but not with a tide pushing me one way or the other. Right. It was behind me. The tide here, the tidal race is only a few knots. It's not extreme. Yeah. You know, so it's uh, it's always very safe. Uh -huh. We don't have any rips or undercurrents or anything nice. of that nature. We're very, very fortunate. What? Up to Helen's Bay, 4k. Uh huh. So. Um, that's you know, from Helen's Bay down, round to the skipping stone, round to the yeah. pier, to the marina. Is that about five. six? Okay. Oh, five. Yeah, five, six. So, yeah. you know, of course, you never swim in a straight line. No. So <laughs> you can make it five, six, you can make it seven. I reckon I can make that eight. Yeah. And, and that would be Wait, me flying it. Uh, <laughs> That's a close one. Yeah, but it's zigzagging. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> can you buy the bit in the car? Hey. Just moving out a bit, was it? Yeah, come out a wee bit, just... Just like home, there is so much to look at. There are boots everywhere. There's loads of people swimming as well, tons of people. And your dog walkers on the top. It's a cracking spot. I can see why this made the, one of those top 10 type lists. What a beautiful place. And look at all these boats. I can even see a ferry coming out. Luckily, no winner us. One thing I'm seeing here it is there's quite a lot of guys swimming. Really nice to see men doing open water swimming because there's not a lot of them doing it, at least visibly, where I normally swim. Faces in the water. That's extreme. <laughs> Hold on. Someone's just popped up in diving wear from where we were gonna get out. Going on here, all sorts of water sports. So, who's made these lovely cakes then? I'm get, oh, yeah, look at this. What have we got? That looks like lemon. And ginger. Oh, ginger. Have a go at that. Thank you. Oh, this looks like, and you made this one. Oh, superb. Mm. Everyone's queuing up for the cake. It's not outdoor swimming if there's not cake. <laughs> so how many people normally come down here on a Sunday then? We would have at least 30. Wow, that's a lot of people. And there seem to be quite a few groups that Just are coming constant, in. Yes, we're always here on a Sunday from 10.30, but there's ones before us, afterwards and so on. Yeah, I was, when I was walking around the corner, I was like, oh no, they're getting in already. But there just seems to be a lot of people yeah. out about swimming. A lot of um, the rugby players will come down on Sundays after. Swims. Oh, what time did you say that was? <laughs> <laughs> well, that was absolutely super. I had a brilliant time with the Brompton Bells and Bows. Really surprising to see what a almost equal mix of men to women there were. In fact, I think there were a few more men, which was um, a delight to see because I always wonder why the guys don't take, uh, you know, don't get involved as much uh, near where we are. 
Anyway, I hope you've enjoyed this week's video. And if you have, give it a like, drop me a comment, let me know uh, where your group is, and I'd love to come along and join you. And uh, I think the next time I'll be looking for a little swim will be when I'm up in North Wales, somewhere near to the Menai Straits. So if you've got somewhere you'd like me to come for a swim, let me know in the comments. And I'll see you next time. Bye.